it's pretty easy for an organisation if to go off the rails, sporting organisation, if the leadership is not not upholding you know ethical standards and values that that, that uh, they claim to believe in. Sadly, it's what happens in a number of organisations happened before. You know, um, values and the strategic plan and all that get put into a nice sheet of paper, get put up on the wall, and that's the end of it. Hence, why the, there was this disconnect from the, the ethics centre found between the the, the the values of the organisation, which people didn't say anything about, and the Aspire values, which they knew a lot about because you know they were up in lights. Finding that that uh, way through is not always simple. Um, you you know you have to balance the the uh, as you say the aspirations, of the organisations, and and the values it espouses um, in sport, um, which is critical uh, for for sport to be able to continue to take up sports and be part of sport and have confidence that sport is pure, so to speak. Um, against the, the fact that people are people and you also need to cut a deal, uh, putting it uh, bluntly, uh, with broadcasters or sponsors or whoever it might be. Um, yeah, it, it is a balance. I guess that's where your ethical standards come, come into play. We knew we were going to get criticised, and we did. Uh, we knew we were going to get held up and ridiculed, and we did. But there was one question that I couldn't have answered if we hadn't done it, which would have been, what are you hiding? And that, that would have uh, dragged us backwards because that's what the media said, well, if you're not publishing a report, what are you hiding? Even if I just publish the 17 recommendations, what's in the report? There's no point in, in saying you're going to do something and then don't do it. I mean, that's just because then, then your whole credibility comes apart at the seams. No one takes any notice of what you say. Um, and, and therefore, the, you, you lose that, that standard and you lose that leadership by example. So it, it's, uh, it's just what you do. If you don't do it, you. Um, for the leadership team, there was this, uh, as I say, this. Um, uh, feeling they'd been tarred with the same brush, um, and and some of them took that quite uh, quite hard. Um, but as I said, you know, I, I said, well, you know, you, we've all been tarred a little bit with the same brush. But the most important thing is we've recognised the issues, we've recognised the problems, we've agreed that we ne need to make change. This is the path forward. Um, here's an opportunity to be uh, something that's pretty special. Because sometimes you get so busy with what you're doing, you forget the core things. Um, and one of the core things of any organisation, of course, is its people. If people lose confidence that the, the competition um, is in any way infected, then they lose confidence in sport. Not always going to get there, because we're not perfect. You know, we're all, mistakes are made, but we must keep striving uh, to eliminate those mistakes.